much for joining me for another video in my Color Lovers series. Um, I started this a couple weeks ago and my first video was on coral. So I had all kinds of like favorite coral products from lipsticks to blush to nail polish and different things. And this week I thought I would do turquoise. I had a lot of great color requests and this was one that I felt prepared to do right now. And so if there is a certain color you want me to focus on for future videos, definitely request the color. Um, rose gold was another really good one that I'm thinking about doing soon. I had a lot of good requests for that. Um, but with turquoise, obviously I'm not going to have quite as many things to talk about because I don't know about you, but I don't wear a lot of turquoise lipstick and blush. <laughs> so um, this is going to be some eye products, nail products, and a couple of accessories that I'd recommend. And also, as with any shade, it seems like there's sort of a spectrum, you know, of different hues of certain colors. For example, with turquoise, I know I always think about my sister and her, she has a great like genuine turquoise like cuff bracelet and it's got a big block of turquoise in it. And it actually looks about the color of my nails, which my nails I thought it was being like a mint green. I didn't do these especially for this video or anything, but that turquoise that she has is very close to this color. But then you'll see other jewelry and different things that are more of a bluish, deeper turquoise. So there's definitely a range. Some of these things you might see as a little more like teal or whatever, but I'm trying to keep it just all pretty colors and things that I really, really like. By the way, if you were wondering about this nail color, this is um, the Julie G nail polish in Shark's Cove. So it's like a mint green with a little bit of shimmer. I think it's a really pretty color. As far as turquoise products go, a really, really great thing, and I love this whole line of shadow sticks. It's from Milani and it's called Shadow Eyes, and these are super duper long wearing cream shadow jumbo sticks. So, um, for example, I feel like the staying power on these is just as good as like the Maybelline color tattoos. I mean, you can put them on and they will set and not smudge at all. So you have some time to kind of blend it in with your finger or whatever or a brush, but once it sets, it's there for good. And I love that it's in a stick form because it makes it very easy to, you know, get under the eye and not need a separate applicator or brush or something like that. So um, the turquoise-ish color that I think is really pretty is called Aquatic Style. You can see this sort of metallic finish that it has, and I have this actually as a base on under my eyeshadow. It'll pump up any eyeshadow you put on top of it, but even if you just want to wear this alone, it's totally doable. So really great quality, and there's some other nice colors in that line. Another way that I like to incorporate turquoise into my eye looks is just doing it with like a pop of some brighter lower liner. Um, I've done a couple looks, I think maybe on Instagram, where I showed how I did that, and uh, maybe a tutorial will be coming soon soon on that as well. But a really great liner, my favorite liner to do that kind of a look with is this NYX Slide On Liner and the shade is called Azure. And this is just a gorgeous blue. I know Urban Decay has a you know a similar liner like this, but this is the most affordable option that I have and it's just great. It's very vivid. Like you can see here, it's almost like the exact same color as the other one. It goes on easily and it really, really lasts. So it's gonna set, you're not gonna be able to smudge it away. And so today, like I did more of a blue look on top, but like I said, a lot of times I like taking that liner, um, that turquoise liner down underneath. And I saw so many girls at IMATS doing that very thing. Um, with some liner on there, and so it looked really pretty. As far as eyeshadows go, um, this is my kind of go-to eyeshadow palette that incorporates turquoise, and it's the Blue Had Me at Hello palette from Wet n Wild. And here, um, you've got really one, you know, blatantly kind of turquoise teal color, but then you've got a bunch of other shades that work really well alongside it. And what I also love is that you can layer, like you can put down a lighter shade first and then do this over the top and get, you know, a lighter sort of look on that. You can blend in some of the deeper blues or black and really give it a rich kind of sultry look. So I just love this palette. I love all my color icon palettes. I feel like I am like re-falling in love with them. I reach for one almost every time I do my makeup these days, it seems like. But um, this one just really, you know, it has that great accent color here and then a lot of other great quality shades to mix in. And there's just a few of those shades, uh, 
swatch there so you can see them, but the really bold takes very little effort to blend them in, so that's a great palette. I also have to mention this one, and I know um, you may not run into this in your local drugstore, but I know it's available at drugstore.com, and I've had this one for kind of a long time, and it's really, really gorgeous. It's the L'Oreal Hip Duo, and it's in showy, and it's got a great turquoise color here and a beautiful like matte cobalt blue. It's so pretty. It's kind of like the similar finish of the Wet n Wild turquoise that I showed you, only there's a little more blue in it. The Wet n Wild one has almost a like a golden shimmer in there. There you can see, you know, a little more bluish. This one comes off almost a little more green because of the gold shimmer and a great matte blue. If you run across this, I don't know if you'll see this at Big Lots or if you really, you know, just want to get this, you can get it on drugstore.com, but very nice quality. I'm wearing um, actually both of these shades. What I did was I put this one all over the lid. I used a little bit of the matte blue in the crease, and then I also blended some of the matte blue just down below. And that's, you know, depending on just whatever you have or have access to, you can get that same kind of look with this palette as well. So just a couple options there. Now, if you're looking for something that maybe gives you the option of having like a turquoise teal color, but you also have a lot of other shadows to choose from as well. One that I recently reviewed on my blog, so there's lots more details there, is the Sigma Resort Palette. Um, this is loaded with great products here. A lot of eyeshadows, you got a blush, liquid highlight, double-ended liner that does give you a really nice creamy um, turquoise color. While the NYX one had a little bit of sparkle to it, this one's more of just intense kind of creamy color, but it's not as long wearing, so that was something I pointed out um, in my blog post. But perhaps the strongest, most pigmented color in this whole palette, and that's why I wanted to mention this, is this uh, turquoise shade here. It's called Nila. Very strong, um, kind of greenish blue turquoise turquoise teal color. Really nice. In the packaging it would appear to have a little bit of shimmer, but it comes off more matte, I feel like, when I use it and when I swatch and it. And I did notice when I blogged about this some people saying, you know, how does this palette compare to the Too Faced Summer Eye? I have the Too Faced Summer Eye that was put out last year. I think it's very similar to the repackaged one that's out now. And I would say if you're wanting more like pinks and browns and things like that, go for the Too Faced Summer Eye. The turquoise shade, I think it's called Mermaid made in the Summer Eye Palette. I didn't think was the greatest. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not bold like this one is. So if you're wanting like a really rich shade and some other good ones to play with, this might be what you want to go for. A great nail polish, and I wore this a lot. I remember last summer on my toes, and it's the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Polish, and the shade is teal or no teal. It's got a little bit of like a golden metallic finish that'll come off on it. It's kind of hard to show here in the packaging, but you can see it a little bit. It doesn't have like glitter in it, but it definitely does have a little bit of metallic look to it. Looks so cute on the toes especially, but you could of course wear it on your fingers as well. And then a couple of my favorite accessories of like my whole jewelry collection happen to be in this turquoise teal look. Um, this necklace that I have here, I think this came from uh, JC Penny, and I've had it for years, so I'm not sure how easy it is to have to, you know, find something like that. And a lot of the things I have, I feel like I've had for a long time, but I really do like this necklace, so I wanted to wear it. But earrings, I love these. And I believe I got these from Claire's. And they have the look of, like I said, you know, that authentic kind of light colored turquoise that almost reminds you of mint green. And then I love these studs. These are a little more blingy, but these came from did I say those came from Claire's? Pretty sure those are from Claire's. And these are from New York and Company. And these are really pretty, very bluish, um, turquoise looking studs. And they're just so sparkly and pretty. In terms of what to pair with turquoise, I think turquoise and coral looks great. I love wearing it with pink as well. Just look at, you know, the bright colors you have in your collection and play around. Especially with the bright colors like turquoise though, treat your makeup practically as another accessory. That's kind of the way I feel about my eyes 
eyes today. That's why I went kind of softer on the lip and elsewhere on the face because, you know, this kind of a shade on your eyes really does show. So, you know, I treat that like an accessory and maybe don't go with a totally teal shirt, but pop it, you know, in another way with a bracelet or a necklace or something like that. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you're enjoying this series and don't forget to let me know what color you want to see next. See you guys.